Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishalai. Hope you all are doing well. So in this particular video, I am going to share my experience during IISC when I have chosen my guide. So how was the overall experience, the how I have chosen my guide for my MTech project that I am going to discuss in this particular video. So you know, guide selection is very crucial step in, in, in your MTech program. Uh, because you know you will be working in the mtech project under that particular guide in a particular topic that you will be choosing and also you know if you are someone who is interested to go for phd then choosing a you know good topic or choosing a topic which you 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 find very interesting is very crucial because then you know you will get one year in mtech to work on that particular topic and then you can you know carry forward that particular topic in your phd also and I have done the same thing. The topic I had worked uh, in my MTech project or MTech days with, with, with my MTech guide. So kind of similar idea currently I'm working in my PhD also. So guide selection is a very you know crucial step if you are someone who is really interested for your research. Not only for you know research or PhD, even if you're interested for your job also, having a good a good topic or good mtech project uh, idea is very crucial in your uh, you know placement also so that's why guide selection is a very crucial uh, crucial step and how it happened with me uh, during my time at isc that i'm going to discuss in this particular video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe get subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So typically at IISC uh, for your MTech, the guide selection happened during the mid of uh, second semester. So as you all know, second semester is from January till April. So guide selection happens around February end till March first week. So when we join IISC uh, in the first semester, we are advised uh, that you have to take one course from each of the pools for computer science. So as you all know, for computer science, there are three pools. One is theoretical computer science, one is system. And the third one is intelligent system uh, pool that is basically machine learning and data science pool. So what we are we are told by 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 the so, you know all the professors and and the the seniors that you have to take at least one course from each of the pool so that you will have a flavor of all of the pools. So if you take a course from a particular pool, you will get the flavor that how this pool will be what how how things happen on this particular pool and then then at the end of the semester how you are performing how you are comfortable on a particular pool you can decide which or which which of the pool you want to pursue your mtech project or which the direction you want to go forward so that's why you know we all have taken at least one course from each of the each of this pool and actually i have taken exactly three courses in my first semester though you can take up to four courses in the first semester but i had taken three courses uh, and each of them was from e one of these uh, three pools so from theoretical computer science uh, pool i have taken design analysis of algorithm so this is this is a core algorithm course that i have taken from this particular pool from system pool i have taken computer architecture and from intelligent system pool, I have taken linear algebra and probability course. So linear algebra probability is actually not a machine learning course. It's kind of a prerequisite for machine learning. And at IIC, um, typically the machine learning related courses are offered in the second semester. So in the first semester, you can only take this prerequisite course that is linear algebra and probability. So this is how it's all started. We have taken these three courses. And within one month, I came to know that theoretical machine learning is not for me. Because, you know, in theoretical machine learning, uh, the course I have taken, that is this design analysis of algorithm, there is a lot of proofs are there. I mean, uh, if you are someone who is currently in your BTEC or if you are preparing for GATE, you won't understand it. So, for each of the algorithms, uh, so just writing the algorithm is not sufficient. You have to write the proof for the correctness of the algorithm, that why the algorithm is working correctly, why, why, why you know, it is, a, it is a good algorithm for solving that particular problem. That you have to, you have to analyze and you have to write. And also the reason behind the time complexity and space complexity, the whole derivation, that everything you have to write mathematically. And that proof is mandatory. And for a particular question, uh, if the question carries 10 marks, for the proof and the analysis part, there was eight marks. And for the just writing the algorithm is there was two marks. So that's why I was struggling a lot because this proof of correctness or writing the mathematical derivation, that was a bit uh, tough for me because I am not that much sound in the mathematics, that much, you know, depth I don't have personally, I feel that in the mathematics. So that's why I feel that this particular domain, theoretical computer science is not for me. So what left that was system pool uh, where I had taken computer architecture and the uh, intelligent system pool that is the linear algebra probability I have taken. 
now coming to system pool in computer architecture uh, that is there there was nothing for for mathematics like there is no mathematical derivation that you have to do it's a complete system pool and you have this is related to everything related to computer how computer is you know operating and all so computer architecture operating system this kind of subjects were there in this particular pool and it needs a lot of codings and specifically system level coding is required to you know do well in this particular pool and in computer architecture what i have felt is like you know lot of coding i was doing in the first first semester in the particular course there was a course project also where we are doing a lot of system level coding uh, like cpu and all uh, this cache memory and all the related coding we were doing and this particular course i personally felt i was very comfortable because there was no no touch of mathematics i mean zero mathematical background is needed to do well in this particular pool that is the system pool so that's why i was kind of comfortable in this particular uh, particular pool and i i actually did well uh, in this particular pool also my grade was uh, good also and third one was the linear algebra probability so it is kind of mixture of both system pool and uh, theoretical pool so as you know linear algebra probability is a mathematical uh, you know subject so there is you know a decent amount of math was there and decent amount of proofs also was there like all the kind of linear algebra theorem uh, for them we have to write the proofs and all so that was also there and at the at the same time there was coding also was there because uh, you know for for designing a probabilistic model like if you if you if you know machine learning you will be able to understand it that there are some models that you have to design and few of the models was there in this particular course also that is linear algebra probability so there is a decent amount of coding also was there and decent amount of you know theoretical proofs also was there so i was doing well in this particular pool also so the, at the end, end of the semester i came to know that i am not interested in theoretical machine learning and uh, i am more interested on the system or maybe on the in, uh, you know intelligent system pool now the situation was as you all know machine learning is a very hot cake nowadays and there are a lot of data scientist profiles and all are there so everyone in in our batch they were interested to go into intelligent system pool and very very few people were really interested to go into system pool or theoretical pool so what happened is that everybody was trying their hard to do well in the linear algebra probability course and it's kind of a very tough competition was there that how you will get into the good professors who are working in the machine learning or data science profile and to be honest uh, if you know like we were around 50 people were there in in a batch for in you know, a csf uh, mtech course work in iisc during uh, 2018 20 batch so if like 80% students are interested on machine learning and data science profile like around 40 people out of 50 they are interested on machine and data science profile in iisc there is not that much professors are there who can you know take all the students so you know and 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 to be frank enough all the professors are, professors are not equally good also there are few professors are there who are really good and everybody wants to get into their lab because you know their labs are really good and you know if you go into their lab your you know projects will be good will be get into good good uh, you know good companies and maybe if you are interested to go for research or phd then also it will be helpful so there are only very few professors who are there who are in, uh, who are really good and everyone wants to get into that their labs and you know in the number of vacancies will be maybe hardly 10 to 15 on those two three professors who are who are who are really good and there are some other professors over there but they are not that good they are kind of average so there is a huge competition uh, to get into the data science lab and everybody was trying their best to you know get a good score in linear algebra probability but you know unfortunately most of the students got 8 or 7 out of 10 in in linear algebra probability course so you know i what i understood is like you know either i'll be going to system pool because you know there are very less rush so i'll be getting good professors if i go to the system pool or maybe i have to compete with everyone who got almost i think uh, 50% students uh, or 60% student maybe got 8 8 out of 10 on linear algebra probability so you know if if you are if you are going for a very good professors in machine learning data science then if they look into your <clears throat> linear algebra probability score then everybody in the same page because you know everybody has kind of similar uh, similar score on that particular subject so at the end of the semester what i felt is like data science and machine learning is a bit tough to get into good good labs or good professors so let's try you know kind of this system pool also the computer architecture pool 
so i started mailing people so i have i have first mailed to the professors for the system pool uh, computer architecture and os who who are professor professor were interested so i started sending them mail and unfortunately the, the the response i got was a bit negative because there are few few toppers who also mailed to that particular uh, particular professors and i think professors were more interested to take them than me because i got 9 out of 10 in computer architecture but there are six people who got 10 out of 10 on computer architecture so when i send a mail uh, to the professors who was you know kind of uh, taking the computer architecture course so he said me that i i look into it after few times i am not interested to take you now maybe we can talk during the uh, actual time when it is happening so actually the mail i was sending it was during the december uh so because you know though officially the guide selection happened in 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 mid of uh, second semester but you know unofficially if you if you talk with the professors and he is interested then they can take you so i started mailing people in the december only and uh, the response i got from from the uh, professor of computer architecture uh, that was not that positive so he told me that let's talk uh, when the you know when the actual process starts like in february end or maybe in the march uh, march first week so i was a bit disappointed because i was thinking to get into the system pool but as i know as you know that uh, as i know that my grade is not that good so that's why i couldn't get into that so why what i mean in the meantime uh, uh, you know the lab i was focusing for the machine learning and data science the professor i was i was thinking to get into them so that professor was really good and specifically his lab was really good and that's why i was thinking to get into there because you know i had a plan to go for research and if i work under uh, under a good lab then i can get get a publication out of my mtech project then maybe it will help me for my research program so i sent uh, that professor a mail uh, just out of no here i mean i was just thinking let's send a mail what's wrong in that so he replied me back that okay i'll let's meet and then i will decide so i thought okay so i just met that person so it was in the first week of january actually so when i you know after my semester break when i reached my campus i sent the mail to that particular professor and he was a very really aged professor and he was really good professor so he his personal was also very good and uh, his lab was also very good and few of my friends also working from my from my senior batch in that particular lab so i was really interested for that particular lab but i knew it will be very tough because i had just 8 out of 10 in linear algebra probability and there are few people who had 9 and 10 and basically it's out, it's 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 uh, you know everybody see your grade in in a particular a uh, particular pool subject if you are going for a particular pool like data science pool so whatever subject you have taken from data science how much grade you have you have you know you have scored on that particular uh, subject so that is that is really important and this particular professors whom i i am talking now uh, so that that particular professor was the professor who has taken the linear algebra part of that linear algebra co- probability course so i met the professor uh, and he asked me regarding my uh, you know cgpa overall cgpa that i have that time i mean at the end of the first semester and what was my grade in linear algebra probability course because he had taken as i was saying that he had taken the linear algebra part so he was interested uh, in that part also and he told me that there are quite a few people who had already applied under him uh, so that was also one thing that was a little bit worrisome for me because you know it was a, a kind of it was not the actual formal window uh, for the for the guide selection that was happening it was just the january first week and i didn't expect that too many people had already applied uh, to for that for the particular professors so yeah that was the thing i mean that was that was the competition that was there that everybody was trying out their luck like me like i also sent the mail out of nowhere i just you know just seeking that whether sir will be taking up my student now but by then quite a few people have, quite a few people have already applied to the professor so yeah that was the thing uh, that was there so sir told me that you know these these are the people who have already applied for me so i'll be taking the decision by today 5 5 pm uh, in the in the afternoon and i'll be uh, informing uh, all of you uh, if you are if you are re- if you are selected you'll be getting a mail from me and if you are not selected you won't be getting a mail from me so i came out of the room uh, so i had a lot of things actually to say to the, to the professor uh, 
but actually I, I i was thinking that i'll be convincing him that sir i am really interested for going for the phd so if you take me it will be really helpful for me that you know i'll be working under you in the research problem and that professor was kind of number one that time for the machine learning data science though though he was kind of aged professor he was a bit old i mean but you know his lab was doing really good uh, by then in 2018 starting i am saying so not 18 19 starting so his lab was doing really good there are a lot of papers are coming out on that particular lab and one of my friends also was there in that particular lab and he also told me that sir was really good uh, he he gives a lot of freedom to all of his students and that's why you know you can do whatever you want to do and there is no kind of force or forcefulness or something kind of pressure was there that you have to do a lot of work so it was free you are free to do whatever you want to do but the lab environment is so good that you will put your effort from your own end i mean there is no no need of any pressure to force you that you have to do the work so that's why you know i thought that this particular lab you know if i work that will be a background for me in that one year i'll be working this mtech project and i will i'll have a flavor of research and then maybe i'll carry forward it to my phd so that's why all of these things were going roaming into my mind but when he met sir uh, when he told me all of these things so i couldn't i didn't have anything to say because uh, you know i don't know somehow i couldn't speak anything so i came out of that particular room and i was just hoping that whoever is applied to that particular professors they have a lesser grade or lesser grade on that particular knowledge or course at least than me because i know there are few people who had a better grade Uh, overall also and uh, in the linear algebra course also so my overall cgp after first semester was 8 and in the linear algebra course course also i have taken i i got 8 so i was just hoping there are very few people uh, who has applied uh, on that particular uh, to that particular professors who has better scores than me so i was hoping that so i came back to my room uh, it was like around 1 uh, o'clock in the afternoon so i was in my hostel room and i was just hoping that somehow some miracle happens and i get into that particular professor and that particular lab because i was really 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 willing to go under him because as you know i i, I there was there was some kind of negative response i got from from the professor of system pool so i was thinking i was thinking maybe he will not take me so let's go into the best uh, lab possible in the intelligence system pool so yeah that that was that uh, that was the thing that was happening and luckily Uh, in the evening i got a mail from the professor that i was selected uh, for working under him for my mtech project and i was really happy because i think that 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 would be the first step uh, into the research direction and that was actually the first step into my research journey uh, and the topic uh, i i had selected that time i am also currently working in that kind of similar direction so yeah and professor also told me suggest me to take few courses that was related to uh, his area of interest so that was also one thing that i i did i had taken one course that he was offering in that particular semester and uh, some other courses uh, that he suggested me to take so yeah that was kind of the overall situation that you know i was initially interested in system pool but you know the situation was like that that kind of you know i tried my luck in the intelligence intelligence system pool because the professor for the system pool he kind of gave a negative response initially maybe after some time he might have taken me but yeah i just tried my luck in the in this uh, machine learning and data science uh, direction and the best possible guide that i could have got in iisc i got that and i worked under him uh, during my research whole one year one and half year in mtech pro- program and i've done quite a quite a few good projects under him maybe i'll be sharing that experience in my upcoming videos so yeah that's it guy i mean it was not a predetermined decision that i'll be going into machine learning or data science i was kind i was kind of sure that i'll be doing good in both system and machine learning and data science but yeah i mean it was by chance or by luck or by kind of destiny you can say that i am i came into this direction that is machine learning data science in social networks and currently also i am working on the same direction so that is guys yeah that is about the whole story this is how typically guide selection happens in iisc 
So that's it guys. That's it about today's video. I hope you like the video and I hope you got some sort of information regarding IIC and how guide selection happen in IIC. So if you like the video, please like it and share it with other people so that they also get to know about it. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. I'll be meeting in the next video. Until then, bye.